Twas the night before Christmas, and all across the North Pole, elves had been making last-second preparations for my midnight ride. This year, however, curiously, we've received a rash of requests for development kits. Here's a letter from one Brandon Lewis. Dear Santa, this Christmas, I would like a TIRSLK Max development kit, the Texas Instrument Robotic System Learning Kit Max, so that I may give it away to the viewers of DevKit Weekly. Well, it sounds like Brandon's been a very good boy this year, and so many good little engineers around the world deserve a shot at winning the TI Robotic System Learning Kit Max. Hey there guys and gals, first off I want to make sure that I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, I know Ramadan's still a few months away, but whatever holiday you're celebrating um, in the next uh, couple days, weeks, or months, we here at Embedded Computing Design want to make sure that you have a safe, enjoyable, and relaxing end to 2019. Anyway, as Santa mentioned, this week we're going to be reviewing a kit that's designed specifically for students and academics, but really anyone that's interested in learning about embedded systems and robotics in general. The RSLK Max is TI's second generation robotics systems learning kit. Only this one comes with a completely solderless design, which allows it to be assembled and repaired on the fly really easily, even if you're a novice. So the RSLK Max kit comes with a lot of different components, um, and those include TI's SimpleLink Launchpad Development Kit, which is driven by a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4F-based MSP432 MCU. The RSLK chassis, which integrates a 5-volt DC to DC regulator, a 3.3-volt linear regulator, dual built-in motor drivers, and a sensor interfaces through the connectors, which are here two of these gear motor and encoder assemblies, a couple of these hot rod red wheels with the uh, black tires, an eight channel infrared sensor array to help with obstacle detection, avoidance, etc. I'd take it out of the packaging, but this is sensitive and of course this won't be mine in a couple minutes. And two of these bumpers, one for the left and one for the right, each of which is outfitted with three switch sensors um, that help deal with those pesky walls. There's even a 400 pin breadboard. So the chassis board here, of course, ties all these components together, interfacing with the motors, encoders, and either a USB power supply or uh, six AA batteries. Debugging, of course, occurs over here on the simple link. But most importantly, however, the RSLK Max is supported by a complete curriculum that was developed between TI and Dr. John Valvano, who's a professor at UT Austin. The curriculum consists of 20 complete course modules that are full of uh, videos, lectures, and labs, and those take you all the way from flashing LEDs uh, to working with finite state machines, DC motor drives, uh, programming the SimpleLink MCU itself, and, and eventually building out a complete system. In later stages of the curriculum, course modules also touch on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi communications. Those aren't supported right out of the box with the RSLK Max, uh, but they can easily be integrated by dropping in SimpleLink Wi-Fi or SimpleLink Bluetooth Low Energy Booster Pack plug-in modules onto the launch pad uh, we touched on earlier. So all of that coursework culminates in a complex application challenge that you can download from uh, ti.com forward slash RSLK, which is building an RSLK Max autonomous robot that's able to navigate a maze all by itself. So as you're moving throughout the coursework, most of the software experience focuses on C programming, uh, API calls, and TI's Code Composer Studio. However, there is support for um, other tools like the Energia IDE and even the cloud-based TI RSLK debug application, which is a pretty nifty tool that'll help you get up and running with this thing right away. So the TI RSLK Max is of course intended for students, um, evidenced by the course material we referenced earlier. 
but hobbyists and makers can also take advantage of it, um, adding on additional sensors, uh, LCD screens, robotic arms, other shields and capes, whatever their heart desires. In fact, it's also important to note that TI intends to extend uh, the aforementioned curriculum over time to support some of these add-on capabilities, and they're even considering integrating TI Artos into the coursework. All in all, this is a feel-good kit to take us into the holidays. It focuses on educating the next generation of engineers, and what more could you ask from a kit that provides so much for so little, just $109. Well, you could actually ask for it for free. And if you wanna try and get this one for free in time for the holidays, uh, feel free to enter your information into the form that's linked to in the description below. And you could be opening this very TI RSLK Max development kit on whatever your upcoming gift giving holiday is. For more information on the Robotic Systems Learning Kit, you can visit ti.com forward slash RSLK Max. Please like, subscribe, comment below for more information. Otherwise, again, have a happy holidays and we'll see you in 2020 on DevKit Weekly.